audience. The most important asset that you can build in your business is an audience. Let's talk about how to do that in a way where you can build a company worth eight figures or more. Let's dive into it. Hey everyone, my name is Gregory Elfrink. I am the director of marketing at Empire Flippers. And today I am bringing you a cool little video, a uh, video series rather, about how to build a media empire, an eight figure media empire. <laughs> so let's go big, right? Uh, and I bring this to you speaking from some experience and from knowledge of other people that I followed in my whole journey as a marketer. So this is gonna be a very helpful video series. If you're an entrepreneur just starting out or if you are an entrepreneur looking to take it to the next level of what you can do, what is actually possible if you put these kind of strategies in place. Now, this is gonna be a very long video series. I will try to produce them as quickly as I can, but this is uh, a lot of information to take in, if you will. So basically what this video series is gonna be is me talking about the components of how to build a media empire. And we're going to start with a very simple site, uh, but before we get into how we're starting, uh, just one other quick note on this video series is, I won't be diving in into the tactics so much as the higher strategies and principles behind this model because tactics just change all the time and I would prefer this to be somewhat of an evergreen series. So keep that in mind. So uh, real quick on what I said at the beginning of this video in terms of audience. Most people, when they start a business, they think about profit, and that makes total sense. It's logical, right? But there is something that can be even more powerful than profit, and that is building out an audience. So an audience can give you so much more than just a pure cash flow play could. And you don't have to look very far to see this in action. For example, uh, most of you are probably very familiar with a lot of the big tech startups, the dreams of Silicon Valley, doing these IPOs and all this stuff. Well, what's one common thing they have in common? Pretty much none of them are profitable. <laughs> they're, not, they're not doing anything in terms of uh, profitability. Most of the businesses being sold on our marketplace at Empire Flippers are more profitable technically than these big unicorn companies. And that's because profit isn't the motivator. Instead, the motivator is audience, market share. They are more than willing to lose tons and tons and tons of money to build an audience network that once it's built, it's unstoppable. You can see this in places like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all these networks. Like Twitter has never really been profitable, right? But it would be so hard to dethrone this unprofitable business because of its market share, because of its audience. And if you approach your business in a similar way, now don't worry, I'm not telling you not to be profitable, you are going to be profitable throughout this journey because we're going to do it in a little bit different. You know, we're not going to go do a bunch of VCs and raise a bunch of money where I'm going to show you how to do this in a bootstrap fashion, how to build a media empire without breaking your bank. So how we're going to do this is going to put you in a position where you can do some really, really cool things and your competitors in, in the marketplace that are out there right now, they're not going to be able to compete with you in the end. In the end, you're gonna become like this almost slow moving tsunami that just consumes everything in the market share, in the marketplace for your specific niche. Now there's gonna be some caveats here. This won't work with every single type of business, but it can work with almost every single type of niche. And what I mean by that, as long as your niche is broad enough, you can most likely pull this off. And I know this stuff works because again, this is the kind of marketing we do at Empire Flippers. Now we don't do it as well as I'm going to describe it in this video series because it's, this is going to be difficult. It's not going to be easy to pull off, but we do attempt to strive towards this model ourselves. And we are an eight figure company, so I know, I know it can work, right? So let's talk about this audience. What do I mean audience is better than profit? Well, let's look at some of the stuff. What, what can an audience give you if you really pursue it? Well, it opens up a bunch of traffic diversity for you for one, and that's something most entrepreneurs never actually do, especially in the sub $5 million range. It's very, very rare that an entrepreneur is gonna have more than one significant traffic channel. Usually they're all uh, Facebook ads, Amazon ads, or SEO, you know, whatever, right? It's one traffic all the time. 
And that is a dangerous position to put yourself in. You basically marry yourself to that algorithm of your choice, right? Versus if you focus on building an audience, you can start diversifying away from that risk, start mitigating these pretty big critical points of failure that if a, a Google update happens, your business is screwed, right? So this is one of the big things about building audience that allows you to have that traffic diversity. But another very important thing it allows you to do is have revenue diversity. Because if you focus on building an audience first, rather than trying to sell something to that audience, well, you can really sell almost anything. There are so many niches that are broad enough that can support affiliate marketing, display ads, e-commerce, digital products, and all of them at one time, including SaaS in some, in some cases. So if you focus on building an audience, solving a problem, getting them to love your brand and resonate with you, well, you can start selling them really anything. And that opens you up to a bunch of different revenue diversity that just doesn't exist in a lot of businesses. And most businesses are, again, similar to traffic, one revenue stream, often with one product. So that can be a dangerous position to be in for all the same reasons why it can be a dangerous thing to have one traffic channel. So what goes into an eight-figure business? If this whole video series is teaching you how to build an eight-figure media empire, it'd probably be good to know what are we trying to reach? Like, what are, what are our goals, right? Well, if you look at the businesses we sold from the seven-figure to the eight-figure range on our marketplace, typically they're gonna be looking at a monthly multiple of between 40 to maybe up to upwards of 70x, right? Now, if there's caveats to that. They can be lower than 40, they can be higher than 70. It really depends, it's based off the individual business, but we're talking just averages here. Most of them we're probably going to be sitting at around 50x. Now, if we take 50x of the average monthly net profit of say a $10 million business, so right on that edge of uh, officially being an eight-figure business, we need to build a business that can make us $200,000 net profit per month, averaged out over a 12 month period. Now, for some of you in the audience, you're thinking, whoa, <laughs> that's a lot, right? Well, the good news is, while well, yes, that is a lot, that is a significant amount. If you follow what I'm going to teach you in this video series, there's a good chance you can sell for more than 50X because again, not many people do this. So right there, that brings down that $200,000 uh, net profit you need to make potentially significantly. And the other thing is, even if you uh, fail at what I'm teaching you, well, don't fail completely, but let's say you fail a little bit, you will probably be sitting comfortably in the seven figure range anyhow. Okay, so we've explained a bit of the rules of the series of what we're planning on doing of showing you how to build an eight figure media business. I want you to keep in mind throughout this video series that you can do this with almost any business model. The way I'm going to be starting is with a simple affiliate website. So that's going to be a content site. It's going to be SEO driven. And it's something I like to call the brochure of staggering profit. And now we'll be dis dissecting much deeper in the second video of how that brochure of staggering profit really starts out where it can grow to become this superstar of income of building that media empire. Because it all starts with simple processes. And I want you to keep that in mind throughout this whole series, you know, dream complex, but actually start simple. It's really easy to watch everything I'm about to show you and get so overwhelmed, you do absolutely nothing. So I'm gonna lay out all of it. You need to take notes and just realize start simple, break everything down in phases so you don't get overwhelmed. The other thing to keep in mind throughout this series is that this is difficult, right? Most people start a business to make money and I'm telling you to start a business to get an audience. If you focus on that first, if you focus on audience first, profit second, you're gonna put yourself in a great position in a few years. But when you first start this out, it's going to be painful. It's going to be unrewarding. It's going to be laborious. You're going to have to learn a bunch of different things you never thought about. And that's going to be kind of the hallmark and theme of building such a huge business where you're always kind of in the state of like, I kind of know what to do. Do I? <laughs> so just keep that in mind. This is not an easy process, nor is it a fast process, but it is extremely powerful. And again, we can reference empire flippers 
as an example, someone who has done this in terms of the marketing and the media that we have built and we produce, even this video, right, is part of our little media machine. You can see this in other big companies too, like HubSpot, for example. HubSpot is one of the de facto media companies when it comes to content marketing, right? Even though they sell a CRM, they're really known for content marketing in a lot of sense. So over time, this can become an incredibly powerful incredibly lucrative business model. It's just hard when you begin. So I'll see you in the next video when we talk about the brochure of staggering profit. If you haven't hit the like and subscribe yet, please definitely do because this video series is going to take me a while to make and I hope people enjoy it. Talk to you soon. Bye.